guys, today I'm doing a Q&A video and I know this doesn't count as a real video but I wanted to film something and I don't know, I know some people like these so I'm doing one. I apologize for the lack of actual videos but I'm doing this for you today and I hope you guys enjoy it anyways. The other day I tweeted asking you guys to ask me some questions and I actually got some responses for once. Normally I don't because I don't have a lot of followers on Twitter. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you want. I don't really tweet a lot because it's just my YouTube Twitter, but um, it is Fiercely Tasha right here. And same with Instagram, definitely follow me on there because I post on there all the time because it's my personal and my YouTube, so I post all the time. And that is also Fiercely Tasha, so please follow me, it would mean a lot. So I'm just going to read off some of the questions. At JazzKramer00 asked, are you thinking of dyeing your hair anytime soon? So if you guys have been a long time viewer, you knew or you might know my hair was brown. It was blonde, then brown, then now it's like blonde again. And I think I'm going to keep it blonde. As much as I love dark hair, it's just not for me. And maybe it's because I was pale, maybe it would look better in the summer, but I'm going to stick with the blonde. I think it just looks the best on me. I do have a hair appointment in like two weeks, so I think I'm just going to keep getting highlights because my roots are coming in a little bit. But um, as for color change, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stick to blonde. Probably try and lighten it up a little bit more for like summertime, but um, yeah. Emily Nyquist asked, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? And as of now, I would love to live in LA, and I know that's totally basic and like all YouTubers live in LA, but um, I hate the cold weather. I live in New York and not the city, so it's not exciting, but I live in like New York State and it's so cold. Tomorrow it's supposed to be like negative degrees, so I'm hoping for a snow day, but I hate the cold weather. I hate not having anything to do around here. And just the idea of California it sounds awesome and there's opportunities out there. So I just really want to live there, LA, Santa Monica area. Okay, that same girl, Emily, asked, have you ever been in a serious relationship? And that is no, I've never been in a relationship unless you count like middle school. And honestly, it's like kind of embarrassing at this point because I'm almost 17 and I'm almost like kind of embarrassed about it, but it's like I just haven't found anyone that I like. Sorry, I'm gonna touch my hair all throughout this. Whenever my hair is straight, I like touch it so much. But honestly, like, I would want something serious. I wouldn't want to date someone that I didn't really like. And at this point, there's no one that has worked out that I would like date. And the people that I would date, like, it, things just didn't work out. So, you know, as of now, I've never been in a serious relationship. Relationship. <laughs> Maybe before the end of high school, or maybe it's just college for me. I don't really know. Are any of you guys my age that have never had a relationship? Like, let me know. Isabel Vaness asked, what do you want to do after school? P.S. Favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Thank you. Um, like I said, I want to go to L.A. As far as college, I really want to go to USC, University of Southern California. It's really hard to get into, though, so I don't know. I hope I get in. If not, <laughs> I don't know where I'll end up, but um, I want to do something with business or marketing um, just because I don't want to go somewhere for fashion oops sorry I just threw my phone I don't want to go somewhere for fashion just because I don't want to only be able to do something like fashion because I don't really know how far that will get you but if I have like a business marketing kind of like film kind of background thing and then maybe internship at like fashion places I think I'll have more of like a background built up that I could do stuff with. Al underscore Fossum asked, what's your biggest advice to girls? Okay, my biggest advice as of now is to be yourself and don't let people change you if, you know, that's not where you want to go because I know right now so many people that I know are changing tremendously and it's just because of like the people around them and months ago or even like years ago they would never want to be the person that they are now and it's sad watching that happen to people so I mean obviously everyone's gonna change I've changed like but just stay true to yourself and don't let your friends convince you to change or be something that you're not because honestly in the long run you might not be friends with them after high school you know so I don't know just be careful who you hang out with and just stay true to yourself I guess Amanda Cimarelli asked, when is your birthday? And my birthday is February 17th. I will be 17. A. May Baumgarten asked, who's your favorite band slash singer? Um, I don't really know. I listen to a lot of bands. I normally just listen to Pandora. 
I really like the neighborhood right now. I guess I like like alternative kind of indie bands. Julia King asked, do you still do track? I have not been doing track, indoor at least, because I did get a job and honestly I really don't like track that much. I used to like it more than I do now, I think, and I just would rather have a job and get paid money than go and do something that I don't really like, especially indoor because we actually practice outdoor and it's so cold. I don't know if I'm going to do outdoor track in the spring or if I'm going to work just because I would like the exercise but I could just do that on my own instead of going to track and not going to work so I don't really know. I will see how I feel about that but as of now I don't think I'm going to be doing track anymore so yeah. Okay, the Sydney Johnson asked, why Fierce? What made you choose that? It does suit you though. Okay, this is kind of a funny story. Like. At the time, before I made my YouTube channel, I was trying to figure out like a good username and I was obsessed with America's Next Top Model at the time and Tyra Banks always said Fierce and for some reason I liked it. <laughs> so Fiercely Tasha, because my name's Tasha. Um, I kind of don't like it at this point, but I can't change it just because like I'm known as Fiercely Tasha and like everyone in school calls me Fiercely Tasha and if I changed it, it would just like... It would just be sad, you know, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm fierce. Could ask Tyra. <laughs> okay, Sarah Nyquist99 asks, Would you rather have a shark rip off your toe and live in paradise for your whole life or cut off your own arm for like a hundred million dollars? Is that a billion dollars? I think it's a billion dollars. Um, hmm. I think I'd rather have a shark rip off my toe and live in paradise because I wouldn't really mind missing a toe. Obviously it wouldn't be nice to be missing a toe, but even if I had like a billion dollars, I wouldn't want to be missing an arm. So if I was in paradise, like I wouldn't need money, right? So those are all the questions that I'm going to answer today. Um, I do have a question though. So I have a wildflower phone case and the studs are like completely wearing off. I don't know if you can tell because they look pretty gold on here, but they're like rusting and stuff. And if any of you guys have one of these, let me know if this happens to you because I'm really annoyed because these aren't cheap and I'm going to have to get like a new phone case because all my phone cases are just getting nasty. So I don't know. If this happened to you guys, let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, please follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. And yes, comment down below anything you'd like. I read them all. Rate this video up please and subscribe if you haven't already so i love you guys bye